with a very interesting topic that is basically scholarships. So scholarships exist but not for all. Yes, you heard me right. A lot of students start their expectations or their journey of studying abroad with thinking that they would get 100% scholarship. Let me bust this myth in the start itself. First and foremost, scholarships do exist, but 100% scholarship is very rare. In fact, I would say it's like finding a diamond in the ocean. Okay, So it is given to profiles which are far more meritorious, just not like you have 95% and you know you are expecting a scholarship from the university and that to 100%, that's not going to happen. I understand you have done well. I understand your profile is good. You may have internships, you have a lot of certifications, you have done paper publishing, a lot of these things and you are expecting a, you know, a scholarship. It may not be 100%, probably you may get some kind of bursaries which they call like a discount uh, so basically say 20 percent or 30 percent yes that is expect that you can expect okay but if you are meritorious that's the only thing that you can expect getting 100 percent is really really rare where you get 100 percent i will talk about that also in my video ahead okay so this is basically a myth and i really want to bust this myth that if you are looking out to study abroad and you think that it would be 100 percent given as a scholarship because some ad said that we have scholarships for you and you know 100 percent scholarship available for you go for it and you'll find out it is nothing but a carrot given to you so that you can come and be there and then they will give you some substandard university where they will say 40,000 was the fees but we are giving you at only 20,000 uh, dollars. Now that's how they try to lure you and you feel oh at least I'm getting 50,000 dollars. But you never know that you are actually getting something at a substandard cost. You need to find the right university for your profile and then applying to a university we can fix a budget for you. So the right approach is always that if you want to study abroad fix a budget that you're comfortable or your parents are comfortable for. Without any funds I'm sorry I understand you want to go abroad but it is not possible. It is possible only in one way that you're looking to go for master's so you're looking to go for your PhD that is after your master's PhDs are fully funded okay but that again depends on your profile we do a lot of PhD counseling as well and we have got that but when it comes to studying bachelors when it comes to studying masters getting 100% is very rare very seldom okay so saying this you can fix a budget when you're looking out to study abroad you may be someone who has a certain x amount of budget so probably say us may not fit example in this case we can look out for some other european countries which will still give you good universities with your profile probably we may get 20 30 percent scholarship and that can serve the purpose living cost is always something which you get to remove on your own whichever country you go in for which is hard work which you should be ready in to take in for they pay almost you know dollar 10 to dollar 15 per hour and that helps you to remove your living cost for that country so this is how you try to engage in ways where you can reduce your cost but do not go or get attracted towards universities which put a price higher and then give you a discount and you think oh you have got a 50% or a 70% discount ideally it is not a discount the prices were hyped up already so this is very important a very common practice in the industry to try to lure students and parents but this is somewhere you need to understand that you are being a fool yourself because you don't have your eyes open towards what are the facts and how it is so scholarship do not exist completely 100 percent but scholarships are there in some percentage most of the students get 20 to 40 percent scholarship if your profile is meritorious if your profile is not that strong, you have backlogs, you have gap years, you have not done well enough, do you really think an academic institution should give you a scholarship? Would you give to such a profile? No, you would not. In fact, you are yourself doubting whether you will get an admission also or not in that university. So how are you expecting a scholarship? And if some university is directly giving you a scholarship, why are you not doubting their intentions? These are certain questions which you need to ask yourself. This is right away. It's very logical. There's no free lunches. We all know from the start. There are absolutely no free lunches. 
all what goes around is marketing and that's exactly what you need to be careful about so saying this fix a budget work part time this will really help you to go to you know to the right place you're not pinched by your you know expenses your parents are also comfortable of course go for education and loan where your guarantors can be your parents and can help you you can remove your cost while you're working there every country gives you a stay back option to be there for one year two year some countries three years accordingly you will be able to return your money on those cases these are varied ways and how you can you know make your studying abroad dream fulfilled but don't fall for traps where you're going for a compromise situation you're not getting the right education then you don't have a job and then you're also sitting upon on that big budget that you have placed that is 50% of the cost and you really are suffering because you made a wrong move so this is how scholarship things work in we have students who have got 20 to 40% in bachelors in masters some may have also got more i have someone who had sports scholarship who got 60% scholarship as well because that's how their profile were we applied to universities which looked for that particular sports so saying this it depends on what your counselor does for you if is your counselor looking for some discounts from some low level universities that is something which is very easy to do but is your counselor doing to work and elevate you to a higher university with your profile this is exactly what we do at education street so if you're looking for a clean counseling where you understand that scholarships may come in some percentage cannot take care of your entire cost you need to be ready with your budget and that's how you can support to go abroad so I hope this gives you a lot of understanding about scholarship. I hope you have your ears and eyes open while you're making these decisions. And we have a lot of stories where our students have made way for scholarship in the percentage which I'm saying. Because we worked on our profile, we worked on our essays, we worked on our letter of uh, recommendations, we made early applications, we met our deadlines way before so that we were in first in the queue. So first in, first out, that's how the universities also work. So when they start their openings, they, when they start their admissions, they have a fixed budget. We never come to know which university has what budget. Say they have 100 rupees. Now this 100 rupees they are going to distribute among the top 10 candidates which they like. Now saying this, if I'm early and they've approved of my candidature, I would be the one to get it. But the same person who has a little higher also a similar profile like you may not get a scholarship because the student has applied, you know, way later. So saying this, he may get an admission, but not a scholarship. So saying this, scholarship is something which do not have fixed criteria. Every university, every admission officers actually play by, by the applications which have come in and also the budget that they have. So saying this, you need a good profile, you need an early application to be done, you need your test scores to be really nice and you work on your essays and other things. So these are all the fodder, all the content which is required, which goes behind getting a scholarship. So we don't want to market that come to us, we will get you scholarship. No, come to us, we will get you a good admission and scholarship fitting your budget and also meeting your requirement. We'll choose the right country for you. We'll choose the right university for you. We'll make the right application for you. And that's exactly you would be the one who would get a scholarship because you have done all the right steps. So I, this is what the video was about and if you have any questions about scholarships or about your studying abroad uh, venture, write to us in our video and we would really get back to us. Or get in touch with us, our counsellors are all there to work for you and not be a recruiter of the university. So thank you so much.